Okay. Should be good now, I guess. Timer is ticking, the internet is interneting, the drop frames are non existent now. Okay. Oh, what a wonderful way to start with internet problems. Let me just drink some water to that. Okay, so there goes roughly 10 minutes of streaming for no fucking reason whatsoever. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, figure that's that. Okay. Right. Bum, 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 bum. So, um, yeah, Central Europe 2.0. People on YouTube will probably not have the ability to see the first 10 minutes of the stream where I tried to and failed to uh, actually say something about the new route, but yeah, whatever. Um, I didn't know what I meant. Let's plop down the route origin. So that's north. And now I'm going to actually paint it. So I can remember it. So that I can see it from high up zoom okay so if this is north that uh, means we need the station in Gilina well, this is the most fun funky part it's not even like east west oh boy Which section, which part of the station to actually start with? Oh, there it is being reworked. That's gonna be fun to make in the future. So, I guess let's start with actual passenger station. Let's get, let's get this. Let's actually just Okay, hundred and ten. So let's get this in. There you go, it's gonna be a bit easier to see. Okay, so I'm looking at the direction of 110 that I need. It's kinda annoying because one degree is anywhere between, well, here and here. So I have just this massive area to just decide what I actually want the 110 to be. I wish it would be in smaller units that you could see the minutes as well, at least. Right. So 
So the city of Julina is at 345 meters above sea level in real life. Roughly. So that means I'm going to be making this land 34 meters above sea level. Those 50 centimeters don't do anything, honestly. So let's fill this in. Probably not gonna be doing a lot of chat reading, so I kinda am focusing more on route building. But I'm definitely gonna glance at it, just not going to read everything out loud, most likely. Because my creativity is still not in good shape. My motivation is non-existent, but I hope that will change through the course of this project. And that I will actually manage to make something nice out of this. Yeah, it's worth the one half. So yeah, I'm just gonna make an elevated plateau first, and then I'm gonna put in all the other terrain features. But I think the better order of work here would be to make the elevated plateau, make a sketch for the tracks where I want them to go place down the stations and this kind of detail and then get down to the scenery so basic terrain first followed by track work track related assets such as catenary and signals and stuff like that stations and blah 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 and then as a last resort uh, not last resort but the last thing to do is gonna be the general scenery so the city the mountains the rivers the whatever the fuck could be laying next to the tracks i guess so, I would use a copy and paste of the Grill Fatten area to that height, but it's kind of finicky because, uh, you see, the game doesn't really like doing that. And I just want to avoid the unnecessary lag that will create. And also because I tend to go a bit too big with the uh, pacing and uh, essentially crash the game. <laughs> this is the most funky part. Alright, so let's see here. Remember when I first watched your streams, you said you never used the family and I told you that you really should be using it. Yeah, that was because it really was unoptimized at the time to work with it. It was just absolutely horrendous to make terrain with it, you know, it was just lag and when you the input delay, that's the word I'm looking for, that you would get on that was just absolutely terrible to work with even on a high-end system that I have. So I just didn't really want to bother with it. 
everybody. Have they actually managed to do something for once? They've actually optimized it. Unfucking believable. They've done something for the game. Oh, I remember when I. F oh, yes. I saw that. Uh, was not part of the OGC built with the wrong rotation? Yes, it was. Ni rotated 90 degrees, so north was, I believe, east. Okay, I should overlay a compass rose in corner. Hmm. It's the most fu funky, yes. <laughs> I think it does in the minimap. Yeah, it does in the minimap. But yeah, I don't really use that. Good scream. Shout. I used it lots and it worked. Out. Yeah, for me, it just nah, never really worked out well. So here's the other sign. I said I risk it. You sh risk it should you need it. Let's check it out, I guess. Ah, yes. And do we want to build Chernobyl? <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to work. This is our station. It's actually not that good graphics, is it? Can't really tell shit on that. So, fuck off with this. And let's do... Ah, uh, where it was? Here. Yeah, this is better. I would like to get a 3D view on this so that I can tilt the camera. Yes. So, top down view and tilt it as well to get the reference on the terrain. Funnily enough. So, this actually provides me with a view that I didn't know was going on. So basically the repair work at the depot, and the yard there. Uh -huh. Tracks are being laid, new, okay. So... I see the issue with the station. There's absolutely no way I will be able to make this right now according to real life because it's been completely taken apart. <laughs> Originally I thought, okay, fine, so because Google Earth just captured this part missing, you know, this being torn out, but this one was here and now I see the real scope of the work that's going on the repair works and the refurbishment the entire station has been torn up <laughs> so yeah I have absolutely no way of finding out what it's gonna be looking like now Mainline is definitely continuing past, that's for sure. But there's been new road laid down here. And it honestly doesn't seem like the yard's gonna be here anymore. Because I don't I honestly do not see anywhere where this could possibly branch out again. This bridge here is obviously going to be a road bridge because you can see the intersection here a little. It's definitely meant to go that way. The mainline corridor is just going to yeah, come in and just go past, but in what way? But then again, when I look on this road, it's got only a singular crossing currently installed, despite the fact that a few months ago this was a double track. 
maybe even a three track and that road was not here so it's definitely going to be also this used to be a double bridge definitely going to be interesting on what they plan on doing here but what this essentially means is that I guess I have kind of a free will to build because this station is just and I don't want to make this station in the middle of the repair works yeah it would look cool but not really something you know useful but then again if I think about it there's well there's that's a small yard okay never mind it's big Could it be that they are removing the yard here completely in and over here as well in favor of using this one? So I believe this even has a hump yard. Not sure. Yeah, it does go up a little. That's definitely a hump. I don't see the brakes. Oh, they're there. Little bit of patch there. Hmm. And that's the departure yard. Okay, so this is the arrival yard. This is the sorting yard. And this is the departure yard with the container terminal. Okay, 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 okay. I see. And they're rebuilding this part as well, so that's going to, so that's going to be new track as well. Oh boy! Kind of don't want to start at this station anymore. Not until it's done with the reconstruction, but that could take months. Um. Fuck. Have you been to get this IRL? No. Pick another station. Probably will have to. What's the plan? The plan has been ruined, Zefek, because Zelina is currently completely under reconstruction. So there is no reliable way of making this station. I have four massive stations to make. Yeah, you have four massive stations to make, but I can't even make the one I wanted to start with because it's being rebuilt. So, hold on. Could I start in Ostrava? Um, it's kind of massive because basically it's bordering three con border of three countries: Czechia, Poland, and Slovakia. So it's fucking massive. Fucking hell! Okay. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Let's start in Chatsa. And let's hope that by the time I reach any of the newer areas, they're gonna be finished. Uh, the main line goes which way? Up here. Then into Czechia. Okay, 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 okay. I see. Right, so let's start here and let's move south instead.
Oh, really? Okay, fine game. Uh, game? Okay, fine website. I'll turn off 3D view so I can measure the length of the station. 410. Four hundred and ten meters, okay. I'm not opening that. How up to date are the satellite images? Um This is twenty twenty one apparently. Could it be that they're older? Could it be that they've reconstructed it? Already. Could it be that... Let's see here. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Good, good, good. Let's see here. Definitely, no, they're definitely not from twenty eleven. Well, on the on this plane imagery on the bottom it says that it's been taken in the September of 2021. April 2023 is pretty much the same. It's in the middle of work. But this is the main station area. These are the platforms. And up in the corner is the depot. Uh, where is this? Okay, so that's the freight yard that I've been looking at before. The humping yard thingy. The container terminal. Uh, here is what? Okay, that's not of interest to me. Um, this is from November. They cut it down a lot, damn. To work on that. Very nice, very interesting. Hmm... Would like to find a picture of the freight yard that was in the city. Huh. Maybe I'll find it here. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, um Right. So can't see that. Can I okay? I want to give me give me like a full resolution of this map. Why cannot you do that? How am I supposed to read this shit? Come on. Huh. Okay. That... This is interesting. 
Because this means that there potentially can be a new station. As well. But I want this. They have this wonderfully mapped out project. But they have it in a resolution that's been used in fucking 1940s. Like, come on. I can't read anything on this. I can only guess from this that they want to get rid of the old yard completely and reroute the main line, build a new station with new access roads, rebuild the main train station, then just use the hump yard as the main yard. I guess that's it. But yeah, whatever. I have this to work on. It's, I'm gonna be starting from here and I'm just gonna be following the project uh, as it goes along and see what's gonna come up. Uh, some other thing there. Oh, nothing, just on satellite reconnaissance. Sense of Poland, yes. <laughs> we can ask for a higher asthma by email? Yeah, no thanks. It's not that kind of importance. In Worski, I can just come up with my own layout anyways, but... I mean, I can use that map. If I... If what I just managed to kind of figure out from it is correct, that there's gonna be a new passenger station, the old yard is going to be completely erased, and, uh, you know, stuff like this, then I pretty much have a clear idea of what it will be. My problem is that it can be different from what I've just managed to imagine. <laughs> but I don't think I'm far from the reality there. But yeah, we, we will see. For now, I have this area I can focus on, so let's do that. So, um... I need to find how high... 420, so 42 meters, okay. 42 meters, and the station is at an angle of 137 degrees, is that correct? Yes, 137. Oh. Oh. Wait, I have a height profile on this. Oh! Ooh! Fuck yeah! <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is at 41 meters. So let's do that. Uh, angle is 137. So roughly this. Like that. Okay. And the height of the ground here is 41 meters. For now, let's just do this, just along the line, like this. Okay, it's been 40 minutes, and I haven't done shit, basically. Anyways. It's not going to be easy to find stuff. Oh, that's the British platforms. Um, I 
I need to find the German platforms. There they are. Aha. Okay, so... I know that the height of Slovak platforms is at 55 centimeters, but I don't know how high the platforms here actually are. Let's see here. Fuck. Is that fake? I'm gonna need a building. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Hmm, okay. Okay. So, a station building is definitely going to be absolute pain in the ass. Ah, but okay, I see here. This is not 50 centimeters, probably. Believe this could be 30 centimeters or 38. This could be the lower one. Feels more like it. But just so I can be sure. Pum, 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 pum. No, 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 no. I need to find... yes. Okay. I just need a reference for a passenger train with normal wagons that actually ha we have in the game. Oh, yes. Okay, so they're definitely the low ones. But how low? See, if I were to go for the 38 centimeters, this is... Uh, hold on, I need to... This... Kind of bad to see, but okay. Yeah, 38 it seems to be. Yes, definitely. Yep. 38 centimeters. Yeah, 38 centimeters. That's it. Did it die again? Alright, see us effect. Good. Been tagged here. What? Okay. Yeah, anyways. Um So this is the build this is the industry I wanna be using. Why is it so hard to... There we go. Rotate it. Or do we go? Oh my god. I don't want to hold control to rotate it by one fucking degree.
Okay, 137. What would be the opposite of that on the compass? Or by 90 degrees, actually. Two to seven. Why do I feel like that's bullshit and I just calculated something imbecilic? This is mainly freight, mainly passenger, mainly boat. Uh, mix. Or mainly airship. If I do this, it goes down to 42 degrees. Okay, let's do 42. I'm fucking stupid from this. So it means 2 to 2 on this. Something's wrong, hold on. Where is... Mouse sensitivity? Was it not here, here ever? I just feel like it's way too jumpy. Okay, to move it by two blocks. This should be it? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's the beginning of our station. But it seems to somehow quasi line up with the orientation of 137, so that's enough. That's good enough for me. I don't care about it anymore. Let's see here, though. If I were to do this, actually, I can just do this. Yeah, okay, so that's board, so that's 137, borderline with 138, and the other degree would put me at uh, 137 bordering with 136, so not in the middle, okay. Whatever. Let's have this run through the station, there we go. Okay, nice and easy. Uh, right. Thanks for watching, see you next week. Ah, yes, of course. It's been only 50 minutes. We're not done yet. Go with that. So, that's 400 meters only, though. Um, this one is not fitting. In the style that the station has. Fuck it. Let me just find the other. Platform age. Or, like, I don't know, 24. What the fuck it was. Platform hashtag 24. Go. So 
79 is seasonal. 4 is seasonal. And this is exactly what I want. Yes. Wrong spline. So it's in the back. Okay. So. Let's connect these. I need to extend the station by 10 meters. I'm... I am imagining doing 5 meters on both sides and sinking that side into the ground. So let's do 6 meters and we'll make sure the last meter is underground. at 40 62 so if i do 40 not enough I do 39.5 and from this i need one meter One sixth. The platform needs to disappear underground roughly there. Actually, what the fuck am I doing? Boom! I have five meters. Now the harder part is gonna make this go straight. Actually, I can make them get closer a little. Just to avoid possible clipping from the train into the spline. Yeah, like this. Yeah, let's pop this down to 5 meters as well. Come on. <clears throat> okay. Something like that. Have you decided on what track bus you want in this area? Yes, I have. I'm gonna be going with the brown that you can see here as well. Because it's gonna be fitting. One. I believe this is the one. Yes. Good. Okay, so that's the 400 meter platform, and that's the longest one, and that's on the outside. Beyond that, we have a freight yard. Now, what about the main line? What does it do?
mainline doesn't really exist here. So it's just the tracks that go through the platforms that are basically it. Yeah, the more I follow the main line, the more it just lands on the outer track and on the track that has the train on it right now. But I'm pretty sure that's just a stopped freight train in the yard. So the main line doesn't really go through here except for one track. And that's the track on the outermost uh, platform. So this one. Let's actually sketch that out a little. So that I can keep track of it. This here is the outer track, and from here on out we have a freight yard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. line it better Five is the fifth track. This is going to be the sixth one. And the last seven. How's the catenary in this station? Okay, it's just the regular spans. Alright. If you intend to build this entire on stream, I would advise against it. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I will work on it on off whenever I feel like adding something to it, but the streams are basically just in case I don't do any work, I have to do something on the stream at least. That's my mentality at the right now. It sounds sketchy. Anyway, so the next platform is the straight part of it is one hundred and seventy meters. The expansion from here to there is adding fifty. Where to go from? Okay, let's just do it like this then.
So in total, it's 265 meters. The middle section being 170. And both ends being roughly 45 meters long. Let's see here. We have 150 meter platform to work with. Um, let's see though. In a straight line, it's 60 meters behind the end of this one. So, roughly alongside here is where the platform begins. From here it's 45 meters. Then an industry begins, or the straight section, for 170 meters. Followed by another 45 meters. Of platform so in the reality what I could technically do is plop a 200 meter do we have more we have 270 oh, that's a different one sorry no we have 300 next okay but that's yes yeah, way too much so I can do 200 and 150 It's basically just a straight section here, so I'm gonna try and get this one to be in roughly the middle, which is roughly here, and I'll line it up. Now this one, I need to fit anywhere in the 170 meter area. Um, yeah, that will do. I don't want to catch that attachment point. There we go. Now I need to take this one straight out until or at least past the end that would be the best. It's roughly here. That all comes together and merges, okay. Junctions, junctions, junctions. Who cares? I don't yet. So I've got that. And now before I build this out, I need to measure out this one as well. It's hundred and fifty. It's got 60 until that end. And 60 on that other, okay. So it's 60, 150 and 60. And I want... So where do I line this one up to? Do 
Do I just put it alongside? Yes, I do, because this begins to turn here, and here, roughly. So what I want to do... Actually, a bit more straighter, or a bit more. So, let me just this measurement properly, I guess. So, 270 meters as well. Okay, so I guess I could do that. No, that's bullshit. No, this end has to go out sooner. Something like that. And these two also start merging in, but there's a bit more time for that happens, so... This is the better option. Okay. Over there, I had that possibility. Now, uh, it's 50 and 60 meters. But, this platform essentially has to end alongside this one. to do this thing. <laughs> okay. That's going to be the end. Which means... These two, when they start getting closer together, it's going to be a very shallow angle. Platform does get quite tiny here, so I guess I'm just going to merge these as much as I can, like this. This part just being a... Yeah, something like this. Okay, this is starting to get interesting. Now, I may have put it a bit too close together. need more space between these two tracks. Yep. 
Yeah, this will be more like it. So now it can all come in and merge nicely together. Yep, this gives me the bigger triangle of dirt here. Nice. So let's do the same here. But I have realized something. Oh. Uh, okay. It's not that track that controls the angle. It's this one. I need it to be like this. Now here where they exit from the platforms, there's a small crossing. They are still divided, but they're very close together. Basically toe to toe. And I'm gonna replicate that. Hello brand. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. That's not the cell I'm looking for. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for more. But this smaller one. Okay. This is it. So judging from this positioning and angle, I am roughly looking at something. is more akin to this so let's do this but I fucked up the angle So, so, see, if I take this straight out, it goes there. But I cannot do go more angle on that. So, I'm going to keep this angle on this track. Move it back a little. Like that. And I'm going to change the angle on this track again. Yes, this is much better. Though still not good. Why is it so fucking retarded? It goes very tight, but under, like, it goes very tight for the platform, but if I try to replicate it here, it just doesn't work, but it's a straight fucking track, it doesn't turn. Like, what? I need a junction to be here. Roughly. But that does, just doesn't work out with the angle of the tracks, with, the pos with their positioning. Can't even move it closer together. Does this one run wide? Not really. They're literally next to each other, but this one doesn't have any 
exceptional bulge out to it or anything curved. What the fuck? It's literally the same fucking design. Like, I would have to do this to get it what real life is like. No, sorry. This. This doesn't make sense. The fuck? Okay, let's try looking at it from the wider spectrum. What this track does here is that it splits. How far from this do these two converge in a... It's not even a Y, what the fuck is that? Why is this so stupid? What the hell? If I go from here to where the junction point is, there is a slight turn to this at and it's 70 meters. If I do the same from here to where the junction lever is, there is no turn and it's 65 meters. From from here, the straight track is 45 meters. Okay, that might be the issue then. Let's bring out this one as well. Into here. Even though that shouldn't really be a thing. Let's see the degrees on this. So seven, 70 meters in a straight line until it hits the junction lever and then it turns on a 40 meter long junction to merge again. So one, two, five, one, three, three, and one, three, seven. So one, two, five, one, three, 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 seven. This one was at the border of one, three, seven, one, three, eight. Okay. This goes on one, two, five. What is one, two, five? This is one, two, five. It goes from Roughly this position. Here. And it goes at 1 to 5 for 60 meters until it hits a junction lever with this track. Okay. And then it turns for 40 meters. One three two, one three two, one three three. Okay. Okay. So this is it. Bum. Poop. But it's so sharp. What the fuck? That's that's my biggest like bullshit with this. I'll have to adjust this a bit more, but. That ain't right, that's not gonna fit. So this one turns slightly. How? What's the. Where does this one turn to? It's a straight, it goes 130. Okay. One three throw to there, where did I measure it to? To the junction lever. I 
has 33 meters. Okay, so if it went from here for 33 meters to come in contact with the track there, so that means it would join here. And that's fucking stupid. That does not seem right. Unless I just do this. I need to keep them apart there. Okay, so let's do it like this. So align the platform. And I need to align the platform here as well. Like this, roughly. Okay, 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 since I found the sweet spot now, good, now, these two tracks merge there, but that's not right, not quite right. Ahem, <clears throat> game, stop complaining and put the fucking spine point in. Thank you. Okay, this will have to work, I guess, I don't know. So should I put this a bit closer? Let's make this go like this until it merges with this. Let's do that. Let's align it here. That should be straight. And now... This is not how it should look in real life. In real life, it should be straight. Along with this connection here. But I cannot do that in the game because... It just would look wonky as fuck. So I need to make it more in a turn, like this. Okay, I guess that's good enough. Oh. It's still very interesting to me how people just walk across the tracks to the other platform here. You would not get away with that. Okay. Yeah, it depends on the station. The newer modern stations, they have underpasses and overpasses that you uh, have to use. But many of the older st stations, even on very frequent main lines, um, just have people cross the tracks. A lot of confusion is very frustration is already. Yeah. Doesn't just not jinx it, please. It's going to be so much fun when we get to build in Victoria. Ha! <laughs> please but I first I need to head off early today. Yep, fair enough. See I can go. Bye bye. If you look at the map the outermost track does move outward a little before turning back inwards to the junction. What?
hold on, okay. It does not uh, turn outward here. That's just a sharper turn, but steady. But what I actually made here is correct. It does have a slight angle to it. The mine is a bit more extreme and more visible. Here in real life, yeah. Yeah, okay, I see, and I know exactly why there is that angle, why it's so visible. Because do you have a little pedestrian crossing here, which means that this needs to be a little bit sharper. Roughly like that, I guess. Yeah, that's good enough. Fuck it. And then, yeah, this will work. I can fit a pedestrian crossing there. And I can also now fit a pedestrian crossing here between these two tracks. Okay, good. Now, though, I am unhappy with the design of this one. What does it do? It's just a long stretch. So I guess if I just do this... No, it bends outward. I, I want to avoid that. I cannot have it bent outwards. But I can bring this closer together. It's getting closer together. So that works out for that one. Works out for this junction, but it doesn't really work out for this turn off again. You can see a bit more wobble in it now, but it's better. It's better now. I can actually fit a pedestrian crossing there. Okay. Oh my god, this is so exhausting. It took me 30 fucking minutes to build a fucking junction. Serious. Oh. This is why I don't like building anything even remotely f inspired by your real life. Fuck you, Zephyr. <laughs> now then. Do these platforms here end at the same? No. Wait, they do. Oh yeah, these ones do. This one just needs to go here. Bada bim bada boom. Okay, now here which one is the main track? This is the main track and it's going perfectly straight. Need to get rid of the 3D view. Need to move the camera. Now I can... I. Now I can measure the distance. So let's go from... Where could we... That's the junction lever. Or motor. This is where it goes straight, probably. Okay. 141 for, for 90 meters. 141 at 90. That's not what I wanted to take. Game. Fucking. Ugh. One for one. At 90 meters. Hold on, that's. A bit too close because 90 meters line up once again with the station. Okay. How far are you? 47 and into, let's say here, okay. So 47 meters from the end of the platform here. So let me do it like this. 47 
three, sixteen, seventeen, the edge. Yep. Okay. And then a forty meter junction at one four three. What? Suddenly that is one four three as well. What? My station seems to be a little bit shorter. Because this should line up with the end of the platform, what I have now. Those 90 meters. But yeah, okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's just a small oversight. But this one is now the main track to focus on. Fortunately, that doesn't work out with that track once again so let's do this let's do this let's take the full specter out like that so first things first i need to align this one in a straight line Then, I'm going to use this to do this, and from this, I'm going to do, do here, roughly. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, and now... I want the end of the platform to be still usable. That's how they have it. So up until now, it still needs to be enough space for two trains. But from that point on, it can merge. You can do it in like this kind of way. That's a bit too sharp, isn't it? Yes. Let's make it here. That's good. <laughs> this was very quick. <laughs> now that I've gotten the technique in my hands, I guess. Oh my god. This is very exhausting. Awfully exhausting. And to think that it's only Tuesday. Ugh. Can it be weekend already? I wanna play Open TTD with you guys. <laughs> I'm always trying to have my weekends pass. Oh, sorry, not weekends. My weeks to pass quickly so that I can get in on Saturday evening and uh, just those two hours of open TTT is literally just so much fun. I'm willing to mentally skip the entire week just for it. Okay, that's our platforms. They're lined up. Uh, I just, uh, my incorrect node has led to a validation which has led to an improvement of the route. Yes, you've gotten the technique in your hands. Yes, yes I do. <laughs> oh my. But yeah, that's a uh, that's good beginning I would say. 
an hour and 40 minutes and honestly after a long day of work having to be exhausted by trains as well is uh, quite a hindering nuisance so I think I'm gonna call it a day here but yeah I, I like the program of uh, program pro pro progress blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah Basically hour and a half of figuring stuff out. No, sorry. Hold on one hour of figuring stuff out minus 10 minutes because we've lost that to uh, bad internet connection and plus 40 minutes of building junctions <laughs> oh man I don't know what's easier though junctions or electrification uh, hold on Um, need to 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 go to here. I need so basically, uh, there's this kind of diagram. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and find these for all the stations that I work with because what this tells me is. All the different tracks that are located in a station, it tells me where there are depots on this map. It tells me the catenary blocks, basically, as in which sections are insulated from each other and stuff like that. Yeah, it just generally tells me the layout as well. As I can basically see which tracks come in together first and so on and so forth. So this is the kind of stuff that I want to be finding. Um, I, I need a link. I know I've sent it here before. I've used. Uh, I had that link. Where is it? Where is that link? There it is. Yes, okay. Uh, let's search. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. This, for example, and bottom are documents, and then there's this thing. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, though, though this map only shows me which tracks are here, which ones of them are electrified, which ones are diesel. Or, well, unelectrified. Actually, not even that. Hold on. Huh. Okay, I'll need to study this one a bit more, but yeah, this is basically something I'm looking for. But we have a different station right now, so... Oh my god! I click on it, and it just does not do anything. Let's do this. This one, I need... Documents. Nothing. Okay. Unfortunately, this station does not have the electric schematic available. 
part. What is this? What is this? Oh, okay. That was... Okay, so this is schedule. The other thing I had open was a uh, driver's reference thingy in easy terms. Okay, so these are the different stations of the different kilometers. Uh, okay, nothing there. Okay, fair enough. So nothing else there. Okay, fine. But yeah. A lot of, lot of things to uh, have my eyes on. So yeah. <laughs> Just realize the opportunity, the winning condition of 1 billion currencies is really fair if we convert them on to one single currency. Because it would be twice as easy to get 1 billion in euro than pounds. Uh, I guess so. So I guess we just convert it to euros then, which means you need to just reach 500 million pounds in order to win. I'm guessing you already have that, don't you? <laughs> Still got 20 minutes of stream time left. Yeah, but I'm tired and you've already managed to take five of them. There's the noise on the motherboard. Yes. <laughs> One of my messages did not appear on stream. Catenary blocks. The word schematic or how it was spelled. Ah yes, basically schematics or like drawings, uh, technical drawings. That's the one. Catenary blocks. Basically, uh, the overhead electrified system is not one singular cell. Uh, there are different splits on it, in case you need to close a track for inspection, uh, you know, and for catenary inspection as well, to check some damage or wear or stuff like that, so you just uh, insulate that one particular stretch, and yeah, you know, stuff like this. Different sections of stations can be divided into different... Uh, catenary sections, so as to, uh, you know, in case of a failure somewhere, it does not uh, completely stop the work on that station. But also on the main lines, for example, the left and right tracks, or like all of the tracks, should or are uh, two separate blocks that are not connected in any way, and when there is a crossover, there is uh, insulation on it as well to make sure that uh, you know you can still close down one track and not the other. But also, um, regarding to catenary in general, uh, there uh, the wire is not infinite. You don't stretch one wire for 40 kilometers. It's like one kilometer long wire that you just have to uh, put on and then you have to take another one as, uh, on top of it as well for ease of maintenance so that you don't have to replace 40 kilometers of wires. So yeah, the, 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 the technology of catenary is quite interesting. And it's honestly sad that there isn't much available on it. So you just have to scout the web for all these like super technical things and stuff like that. So yeah. I do have over 200... Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Makes sense with the blocks. I just did not know that that was the for... Oh. I don't know the exact term, that's basically I just how I call it, because, well, you have signal blocks, you know, these signals, they divide different blocks of the track, sh of the track to, you know, different sections, you know, 
So I basically just thought, okay, let's apply that to the catenary as well, and uh, yeah, we have a catenary block. <laughs> I would imagine that in like technical term, it's something different. I just can't really know. I just don't really know like how to say it or how to. Uh... Yeah. How to explain it as well. So I'm just using blocks because that's something that we are familiar with. But yeah, that was fun. Despite everything. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess I'll be continuing next time. Could contact the catenary companies themselves. <laughs> I uh, I've tried actually contacting a lot of different uh, part of the railway, but they didn't answer at all or just yeah weren't interested. So most of the stuff I just had to uh, do by myself or just we had to create by ourselves from the materials and knowledge that we have gathered rather than actually having an official response or something like that. I mean there were occasions where we did get some official stuff but uh, yeah not, not a lot. So it's it's been hindering progress I guess and that's why everything is just eyeballed Alright, it was good having another trench building stream from you. Yeah, definitely. Good evening and bye bye. Yep. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Follow, subscribe, and uh, yeah. Hopefully, something will come out of this project. Have a wonderful day and see you another time. Bye bye.